Hi there, Professor Monty here, and let's talk about what they call factoring by grouping. Now, factoring by grouping is used when you have four distinct terms. So the idea is we're going to take the four terms and we're going to put them into two groups of two and factor them that way. So I'm going to take these first two and I'm going to put the second two, and those are indicating the first two are in a group, the second pair of two are in a group. And what I'm doing is I'm factoring out the greatest common factor in each group. So in this group, I can factor out an x squared and I get an x plus three. And over here, I can factor out the positive seven and I also get an x plus three. Now that also getting an x plus three is the key here because if what you have in the parentheses are not equal, then one of two things, either you did it wrong or maybe it's prime and you can't factor by group. There's actually another possibility. Maybe you need to rearrange the terms and then try to regroup. That usually happens with more complicated things, not with just descending powers of x. But since those are the same, there's only two terms left. I can factor that x plus 3. It's common to both terms. And notice when I factor it out, that's gone and that's gone. All I have left is that x squared plus 7. And that's my answer. And these can be in any order. If you have the x squared plus 7 first and then the x plus 3, remember, multiplication is commutative. It's fine. But let's check. x cubed, 3x squared, plus 7x, plus 21. So that does work. So what I want to do is let's do one more example to get, get a little more practice on this. Show you another thing that you might run into. All right, so let's try this one. The next problem that I want to show is 2x cubed minus 12x squared, and then it's minus x minus 6. Okay, so a couple things I'm going to point out on this one. We still do it the same way. We say, hey, look, there's one, two, three, four terms. Let's try grouping the first two and the second two. Well, in the first two, I can factor out a 2x squared. And that's going to leave me with an x plus 6. Now, over here, we're not really seeing what I can factor out, but there's two things going on here. One is it leads with an x, so I'm going to factor out the x. It leads with a negative, so I'm going to factor out the negative, rather. The other one is, think of that as negative 1x, because then it's easy to see, oh, that's a factor of both. I'm going to be able to see that when I pull it out. So I factor out the negative 1. Well, if I divide that by negative 1, it leaves me with an x. If I divide that by negative 1, it leaves me with a plus 6, right? If I distribute negative x minus 6. But notice again, same sign. This is one of those places where I was saying you may have factored it incorrectly. I'll have a lot of students put a negative here, make that an x minus 6 because they forgot to change the sign. And then they say, oh, those don't match. Well, it's because you made a mistake. Now they do because we did it properly. Again, you can always check by distributing it in, make sure you get what it was before. But now again, factor out the x plus 6, and those are gone, at least with x squared minus 1. And again, some students like to look at it the other way. They look and then they, hey, they go, oh, 2x squared minus 1, and then there's an x plus 6. So they write it this way, and it doesn't matter. Again, Multiplications commuter, they're both the same answer. But try it out. It does take practice. And so, you know, obviously, the sooner you get these, the better. You don't run into four terms a lot. There is one method of factoring trinomials called the AC method. I've got a video on that, but I prefer another video of mine called the illegal move method. But anyway, that's factoring by grouping, and it's used to factor when you have four terms. All right. Practice this. You'll get it again. If you like my video, please like it. If you want to click subscribe, that'll help you find other ones of my videos, help other people find them as well. So practice this, you'll get it. Best of luck to you.